What's up, Ben Nation? If you haven't been following the signs and the signals yet, you might have missed what's going on. And that's going to be a shame because uh, if you're watching and you're paying attention, then you should be fascinated by the changes that are happening within the Ben Armstrong uh, arena. For starters, there's now a BitBoy Crypto, but there's more. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, and the bell to be notified. And let's talk about what is to come. So first up, guys, you see a lot of friendly banter starting to happen. You see a lot of information being passed to you from Ben Armstrong, now known again as BitBoy Crypto. And you're starting to see a little bit of information about what's happening and what's trickling out. And if you've been paying attention and you've been watching the videos, then you also see some very, very interesting things. What type of interesting things you might be asking? Well, uh, did you notice that there is a new BitLab Academy? You may not have noticed, you may have, you may have missed that, uh, but that would mean that somebody got their IP back. There's a lot to unpack here. Now, over the next couple of days, I'm going to be putting out a, a, a series. I don't know how many parts it's going to take, but I've got some, I was able to download some interesting data and you're going to get it. Remember how I did this before for you? I told you exactly what was going on with Ben Armstrong and I showed you uh, exactly the deviousness from the people who have been trying to attack him. Well, uh, I got an expose for you. So um, buckle up your safety belt because it's going to get wild uh, and it's going to affect Ben coin in a very good and very positive sort of way. So um, matter of fact, let's look at the price action and let's see how I anticipate it's going to affect everything. All right, guys, you can see right here, we've done a structural move right now. We got a push up into the 100 MA to be expected. I told you guys I expected a strong bounce off of that. We came into the 100 MA, got rejected, came back down. Uh, the market right now down about $31 billion in the overnight. If you look at this uh, in a shorter time frame, based on the hourlies, you'll see exactly what I mean. The, the, the European market just started to kind of bleed out for the day. Uh, in profit taking mode, kind of dipped us a little bit. So uh, came back down here, retested this little structure right here. Uh, I would expect a little buyback and a little bit more uh, positivity and move to the upside. And then that will begin a longer term correction up here uh, with us coming up here into this 11, uh, four zeros, 11 range. That looks like the next point of the structure. Uh, and that's about a two X from where we are. So I would anticipate that over the next bunch of days, we probably look at at least a 2x from where we are that would give us an opportunity to take some profit if you want to if you got in at, at a good range uh or to keep loading up your bag without uh messing anything up if you have plans to continue to accumulate at this position don't forget that there are a couple of things happening by the end of this month uh staking will be in place which will reduce sell pressure uh, you're also going to have the SIM swap reimbursement that'll be coming out at some point uh, very shortly, it's supposed to be by the end of the month. So we'll be looking for that as well. Uh, and then the fascinating stuff that seems to be going on right now with Ben Armstrong, BitBoy Crypto, uh, and the Hit Networks, former Hit Networks, uh, whatever it is, but they're about to enter receivership and are about to be audited. Uh, and we're going to have some real clarity on bitboy crypto and ben armstrong and we're going to know exactly who tj is uh and we're going to know why ran the wiener guy sided with tj we're going to know why george sided with tj we're going to know why they all did what they did because the truth will out so make sure you keep tuning in here and uh, remember this is not financial advice but i'm always right